students and um, let's have a look at the sketching of the hyperbola graph and um, obviously we're going to be looking at the grade 10 level in terms of your hyperbola graph you need to know what things are there in hyperbola graph so that when you're sketching you show those things that are expected um, in terms of the full sketch of a hyperbola and in your graph that is not shifted still sitting at its original position expect a graph to be having a form of y is equal to a over x but if the graph has shifted then you'll have a graph showing the shift of the graph with the value for q so there you have a y is equal to a over x plus q now let's have a look then what is in a hyperbola graph you'll find asymptotes vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote those asymptotes will show when the graph shifts but for grade 10 purposes since the graph only shifts up or down vertically you will see only the horizontal asymptote so always when you look at your equation you will see that value of q that represents the equation of the horizontal asymptote also the value of a tells you something about the graph if the value of a is positive that is a is greater than zero you will see that your curve will sit on the first and third quadrants of your asymptotes and then again if the value of a is negative that is a is less than zero you will notice that your curve will be sitting on the second and fourth quadrants of your asymptotes now you notice i'm saying of asymptotes because once the graph has shifted um, your curves will also shift accordingly and they won't necessarily stay in the second and fourth quadrant or in the first and third quadrants of the cartesian plane so it will be the quadrants of the asymptotes because they shift together with the asymptotes okay the graph also has axis of symmetry now these are lines basically that cut um, our graph into identical halves um, and you've got one that has a positive gradient a graph of y is equal to x forming a 45 degree angle with the x axis you also have another asymptote of y is equal to negative x it's got a negative gradient and um, you want to keep that in mind the questions are going to come up saying negative gradient positive gradient then you know exactly which um axis of symmetry they're referring to um, and that forms an angle of 135 degrees with the x axis now <clears throat> it's very important to know that these two the gradients will never change they maintain the same gradient so as the other one is positive one is a gradient the other one is negative one is a gradient it doesn't matter whether the graph shifts sideways in grade 11 or the graph shifts up or down and the graph will always maintain those um, gradients because the lines do not twist but they shift and move together with the graph now let's have a look then how to sketch this graph let's take an example of a graph of y is equal to 5 over x and that's a graph clearly as we see it before we even sketch that oh the graph is sitting in its original position the graph has not shifted because there's no value for q or the value for q is zero in this case and secondly the value of a is a positive five. Oh, now we expect that our curves will appear in the first and third quadrants of our symptoms so let's go first remember when you're sketching this type of a graph that hasn't shifted you need to show your own point hence you have to think of your own x value that you must substitute in the equation so that you get a y value and once you've got your y value you've now got a full point that you can show so let's do that i'm going to use x as one and when i simplify that five over one gives us five so my point has got x as one and y is five so on this sketch i'm going to show a point with x as one and y is five and that's all i need to show the graph isn't shifted i can't show my my asymptotes because they are still sitting right on top of the y and the x axis so there's no need to do anything because my asymptotes have not moved so they're still hidden by the x and the y axis and that would be perfectly fine what about the axis of symmetry of the graph well the graph isn't shifted that means that y is equal to x which is a positive gradient axis of symmetry and y is equal to negative x are still as they are so they haven't shifted the graph is perfectly fine if you were asked to determine the axis of symmetry equations let's just be y is equal to x and y is equal to negative x let's look at another example given a graph of y is equal to negative 4 over x minus 2 hey this graph now has shifted we can see the, the value of q is negative 2 our graph has shifted two units down secondly the value of a is negative it's negative 4 that means our curves will appear in the second and fourth quadrants of our asymptotes 
So we need to show certain things now. We'll show our curves, we'll show a point on the graph. We'll also show the horizontal asymptote because as soon as the graph shifts up or down, the horizontal asymptote will appear. And in this case, we already know where it would be because of that negative two. The equations of the asymptotes, just, say, just out of interest, and we can easily pick up the horizontal asymptote from the equation. It's y is equal to negative 2. And that is what we'll show on our sketch. Our graph um, has an asymptote at y is equal to negative 2. And the vertical asymptote, because the graph has not shifted sideways, it has only shifted vertically, the vertical asymptote stays on top of the y-axis. So it will not show on our sketch at all. Let's find the x-intercept because the graph now has shifted. Definitely will cut the x-axis. Okay, so as usual, replace y with 0 in your equation and then solve for x. A very pretty easy equation. x is equal to negative 2. That means our graph cuts the x axis at negative 2. So when we show the curve, we'll show that the x intercept is at negative 2. Now, we need to show that extra point um, on the sketch and preferably show it on this curve um, that has no x intercept or y intercept and they again remember think of your own x value and be strategic you're dealing with fractions in this case so i'm going to pick a value that won't create um, a complex thing pick x as 2 so that i can then get a very nice number coming out there for y and my y is negative 4. now i know i'm going to show a point with x as 2 and y is negative 4 and there is that point and that is the full sketch done there's nothing else that you have to do really here Let's have a look at our axis of symmetry. Do you remember those axis of symmetry? The other one is a positive gradient, y is equal to x. The other one is a negative gradient, y is equal to negative x. Let's see what has happened. Because originally, before the graph shifted, they would have been sitting at the origin, as you see there. But because the graph has shifted two units down, they will also do the same thing. So the original y is equal to x and the original y is equal to negative x will also show a vertical shift on them because the graph shifts down two units similarly to the graph because it goes together with the graph so as a result that negative 2 we see in our equation will automatically appear as well as part of the shifting of our axis of symmetry and that's it